One of the stars of the Detroit Auto Show is the Ford Ranger. It's been energetically expected, and enthusiasts of the worldwide form weren't let down. Portage shared a few key subtle elements, and keeping in mind that it went poorly specifics on numerous themes, we think we know enough that we can make some informed speculations on how powerful and how enormous the Ranger will be. All things considered. We felt free to took a gander at some key specs of its US rivalry, the Chevy Colorado, Toyota Tacoma and Nissan Frontier, to perceive how they all analyze. Note, we're utilizing what we think about the Ranger's motor in contrast with existing Fords with the 2.3-liter turbo 4 chamber, alongside articulations from Ford. We're additionally utilizing the worldwide market Ranger for some size assessments as the US showcase display gives off an impression of being to a great degree like that truck. Additionally, seeing as Ford has just declared one motor, we're contrasting it just with the V6 motors it will probably contend with. At last, minor departure from numbers are because of arrangement contrasts comprising of taxi and bed right, and in addition two versus four wheel drive. Right away, here's the graph took after by more profound investigation. The Ford Ranger is very one of a kind in the little truck portion in that Ford has just declared one motor up until this point, and it's a turbocharged four chamber in a class ruled by normally suctioned V6S. However, Ford says the motor will give class driving numbers, especially in torque which is conceivable. The motor is a form of the turbocharged 2.3-litre 4 barrel in the Ford Mustang and the Focus RS. Try not to expect the 350 torque of the Focus RS, however something near the 310 strength of the Mustang would be conceivable, and would be right in scope of the Colorado's 308 pull V6. What's more, since both the Mustang and Focus RS motors create 350 pound-feet of torque, we would really be astounded if the Ranger motor made under 300 pound-feet of torque, effortlessly out-talking the present Contour driving frontier and its 281 pound-feet. The Ranger likewise has a potential favorable position in transmissions. It will have the 10-speed program that is likewise found in the Ford F-150. We've discovered it to work extremely well in each vehicle with it, including the GM items that utilization and adaptation of the co-created transmission. The across the board of proportions ought to likewise give it the chance to set up some strong mileage numbers. Regarding that matter, the Colorado will be the one to beat with the best interstate numbers, and Toyota just squeaks out the most noteworthy city mileage. Tragically, for the time being it would appear that you won't have the capacity to get a Ranger with a manual. So on the off chance that you need to push your own particular apparatuses and utilize a grasp yourself, your exclusive choices are Toyota and Nissan, which agreeably offer a manual both with the V6 and four-wheel drive in the event that you like. One reason for choosing a little a pickup over a full measure one is on the grounds that you need something that isn't so scary to move. The Frontier in its most limited setup is more than 5 inches shorter than the briefest variant of the following littlest truck, the Ranger. The Frontier is likewise only a touch smaller than the Ranger. The longest Ranger is shorter than the longest forms of alternate trucks, however. So if mobility is most essential to you, the Frontier is justified regardless of the look. Curiously, however, it's not the lightest notwithstanding its little frame. In general, the lightest of the gathering is the Toyota Tacoma. Our gauge for the Ranger's weight originates from the variant with the 2.2-liter diesel 4-barrel, which we envision will measure also to our 2.3-liter gas-controlled rendition. It's practically in the center, weighing about the same as the Chevy and Nissan. 